right, what is up guys? Infected Jerk here. And I know I haven't done videos in a while. I haven't done a live stream. Sorry. I need to get back into work on this. But I do have some upcoming videos that I think is definitely going to be worth it. Um, one's going to be kind of like an unboxing vlog. Um, and another one I want to show like an experience of what it was like to have my Xbox One X gone to Microsoft for repairs. It was a pretty bad experience, but you'll see that in another video. <clears throat> Anyhow, we're here checking out some mods. I recently had a person watching an older video, a uh, Fallout 4 video about some of the graphical mods for having trees and grass and stuff like that. And they said that they couldn't find the mod anymore, so I figured I may as well try to find uh, an alternative to help that person out. So I went ahead and searched through many, 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 many mods right here on the website itself. All right, you guys see it up on the video. I see it right here. And yeah, I went through quite a few mods looking at all the different ones out there for the different grass and trees and stuff like that and so far the best one I could find we'll switch back is this one right here another green mod with LOD DLC um, the DLC is basically if you have Far Harbor and Nuka World um, then this would be the mod that you want to get if you don't you have just the base game they have the other ones, uh, like this one, another green mod, LOD Commonwealth. The Commonwealth will be just the base game itself. You can get this one with DLC. Uh, it's, it's a large file size. I know it's absolutely ridiculous, but there's not too much of an alternative right now for um, foliage mods and everything because, like this one right here, overgrowth and immersive living download size six megabytes and it's adding all the grass and leaves on the trees and everything if i remember correctly when that originally came out it was like anywhere from 400 and some megabytes to like 700 and something we're just gonna go ahead and delete that yeah i don't want to bother trying this but, like I said, so far the winning one that I've found is uh, this one. Looks pretty good. But, why do I want to sit here and discuss with you about it? Let's get actually into the game. And I'll show you what it looks like after we're done waiting and waiting and waiting for 10 or 15 years. Look at that sweet rifle. I'm gonna skip past all this bullshit. Not bad. It's definitely not the whole seeker site thing like I had shown before in a different previous video. But I mean, it's got grass, it's clean, it's got leaves on the trees. Um, anti gravity is kicked on. No, I'm just playing. I use the holotype for cheats and everything. It allows me to jump 10 times higher than normal. So it looks like God mode is also activated. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, I mean, the trees look good. Uh, it looks like the leaves are having an effect with the lighting. So that's all working. Yeah, in that video where I show the Seeker site and everything, this whole area is just super green. So, I would say this looks pretty good. Is this bridge going to render in any better? Or is it just going to keep looking all that blurry? I think this looks like a good, well-balanced. It's not too overdone because I do remember that secret site really did a bad performance hit on my Xbox the original Xbox one um 
But I have to say right now, this is well balanced. It's nice looking. It's not too over the top. Um, and I haven't played Fallout 76, but I've seen uh, gameplay of it. And I would have to say, this can maybe be similar to Fallout 76 with the way it looks. I've never played Fallout 76, and I don't intend on playing it until it's like free to play or something. So, you guys be the judge. Let me know you think of this uh, another green mod with LOD. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in some more upcoming videos soon. Alright, see ya. I can get my mouse cursor to over on the right screen.